everyone, this is Beanbrook and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Yay, it's no longer Fear Evolved, yay. No more Dodo Rex, even though I never saw it. Sad face. I, I, I can't do sad face. But anyways, you saw nothing. Um, what has happened since episode 5 where I died? Again, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, let me introduce you to the group. Alright, so we have these two pteranodons, this is Ark Air Support, he specializes in short distance fighting, uh, but will can take me quite far as his stamina is 330. This is Ark Air Service, which specializes in long distance traveling, it's basically going from one island to the other, and can fight too, but not as strong. 407.6% and 454.7%. Now then, I, as you can see, I have saddles on these two both. Uh, I've used these for, um, while I've been grinding, and these two are beast. They're amazing, and I can't wait till uh, they have a baby. Right? You two, well, I guess that's controversial for you two. Uh, I'll just leave you be. Okay, so this is Pagomia. Still survived. Um, is it a he? Yeah, he didn't die. Uh, this is Avada Kedavra. This is the new raptor. He doesn't have um, glasses because, well, the killing curse doesn't have glasses because it's a curse. The killing curse. That's in case you didn't realize that was a Harry Potter reference. Um, Tankosaurus still lives. And this is Kano. I uh, actually don't have a name for him. Um, and the reason, well, how I got him was actually just because he was stuck on a tree. And I was just like, I feel sorry for him, so I'm just going to let him free. Uh, so I tamed him. And... Basically, I did what I said, I'd grind, and now I've got chitin armor with hide uh, gloves. And I have a few saddles in here, a Dodacris saddle, and the Stegger saddle, which we can get from that guy over there. Unless we want to get another one, but I don't know. Um, so, I'm planning on taming these two dinosaurs. Probably go with the Stego first, because it's much easier to tame. Um, so yeah, let's just go and do this. Alright. So, I'm, I don't, I'm not really fussed about levels so far, because I can always change them, I guess. But anyways, so let's go and tame. This will be the first tame you've seen on camera. Uh, what's this? A level 4 Stego. Um, yeah, I don't see another one. Unless there was another one, I probably would go for it. Uh, yeah, I don't see another one. Let's just go for it. And let's get ourselves a Stegosaurus. So that's one Trank Arrow. Ooh, that one looks like it did a lot. That's free. And it's already unconscious. Alright, that was pretty quick. Nice, so we could chuck in some of these uh, for now. And while we wait for it to tame, uh, yeah, so basically I'll just tell you a little bit of what happens. What happened. Uh, actually, I had another raptor beforehand. I think I had two. Jeez. You right there? Alright, um, I had two raptors beforehand. Uh, one was gonna be, well, actually, I think it was one. Maybe it was one, yeah. Yeah, I had another raptor beforehand. This was after episode 5, but before this episode. And it ran in, into basically Bigfoot and started attacking it because I tried to feed it. Uh, but I wasn't high enough level, which you needed to be level 30 to feed it Medjo Berries. 
that's the tame Bigfoot. Uh, it's not actually called Bigfoot, but it, it's got a confusing name. It's not really confusing, it's just really hard pr to pronounce. But anyways, so he started attacking it, and then there was another one that came along, and I tried to help, but the raptor ended up getting wrecked, and my thanks to my sister, uh, she helped me name it Harry, because it had a, um, glasses, which I was, which I thought was a pretty good name. Unfortunately, it died, so I have to make gravestones for that raptor, for Harry, and for the raptor that died in episode 5. Sadly. But, with, exper with experience of raptor deaths, I know not to take my raptor anywhere because it will die. <laughs> no, I will take it, um, I will use it probably eventually. Well, not really eventually, but sometime. Um, but it's just not really useful. It's not as useful as it was before for travel, because now I've got these two pteranodons, which can take me higher in the sky, and more safe. And also, it's a floating stagger. Um, so yeah, that has been what has happened. Uh, the pack is still the same. I uh, haven't named it anything. I haven't thought of a name. Uh, the Stego, I might just call it... I don't know. Steg. <laughs> just trying to think of... What? Platey? Plates? Maybe plate... Tectonic plates. Plate tectonics. One of the two. <laughs> just call them that. Uh, but... Probably... I don't know. I don't know what to call these dinosaurs. They're just too awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna let this guy tame, uh, and yeah, see you when he's tamed. Alright guys, so, the Stego hasn't finished taming yet, but I am trusting it to stay asleep. I'm gonna just show you the things that this Pterodon can do, which is, this one is air service. So, we can, sh I can show you, oh look, and there's another Stego, um, these guys here killed my f killed Harry. These this is Bigfoot. We just stand. Yeah, you can't feed him like this. But yeah, it's not a smart idea. Or come back here. Yeah, I know it's a dumb idea, but come back. Get back here, bird. Come on. Uh, what's the T? Passive. Come back. Come on, get up the rock. Oh, uh, no, no, wait. There we go. Well, alright, cool. Um, so. Didn't mean to do that, just wanna get out of here. The heck? Okay. Interesting. Uh I didn't mean to attack him. I did mean I was testing the pressing on pressing E do. Uh so he can do a barrel roll. That's one thing he can do. Takes up like nearly half of his stamina. So that kind of sucks. Let's see if we can get Probably should have test checked my landing was clear first, but oh well. These things are quite hard to get because they're so what's it called? Skewer, I guess. Usually, you end up falling and hurting yourself, so that doesn't help at all. And. So this is where I get my metal from, usually. Uh, it seems that they haven't respawned yet. Not sure if they will or not. But I've got other places I can go, such as the beach, where they have rocks there. Um, 
I figured out that the Spino, um, was actually level 8 and a male Spino, so I might be taming that l in later episodes. Well, when I'm level 40, no, not 40, 60, I'm pretty sure it is. So, I don't know it. Yeah, there he is. Thank goodness for my spyglass, so that helps me see the levels of dinosaurs that I don't want to get close to. Um, so let's just get here. Yeah, level 18 I meant, sorry. Not level 8. So yeah, it's a pretty high level. It's not super high, of course, because I don't have the level height uh, higher, of course. I've got, there's these things. What are they called? Paraceratherium. Paraceratheriums. Sarkos, of course. They're just kind of w walking about. And, uh, yeah, so that was just one thing I just wanted to show you quickly. Uh, again, well, not really again, but I haven't gotten the Kano Sado, Sado, Saddle, not Sado, what the heck is a Sado? Um, but when I do, I will put a Saddle on him. Alright, so now we're going to test our air support. On probably the dinosaur that I ran away from one of the most, I'd say. Alright, so. On several attempts, I tried to fight this big giant. Failed, but didn't die. I tried to shoot it down with a crossbow and stone arrows, of course. Uh, but now I can easily take these guys out. My Pteranodon. Who will barely get hurt by this beast. So let's get into this. That will do a bit. I haven't used this in battle yet. Not the Pteranodon, but the actual special barrel roll attack. But yeah, so see how he's not taking any damage? And if he is taking damage, he's not taking a lot of it. So basically, I am killing it without it killing me, which is pretty amazing, because these guys are pretty good when it comes to meat. There we go, level 3 Bronto was killed by air support, arc air support. Now, I could try this way, oh he's smiling. Uh, I don't think heads are turned. Um, you're alright. Ah, uh, you're dead. But, yeah, okay. Uh, phew. just trying to think. Yeah, I guess we could take it. We'll get with my bird. These have pretty good when it comes to meat. Let's just get them. Alright, 14. Can we get higher? 16, 17. Alright. That's pretty good. So 18 hide and meat. Of course. So I can feed that to my to air support uh, air service. And yeah, because he was running out of food I noticed. Now he's not. Alright, so that was one little thing. And we're back. As you can see, I've tamed the Stego. Uh, I'm gonna leave it nameless for now till I figure out a name for it. Let's give him a go. Jeez, he's quite big. Alright. Yeah, this is pretty big. Okay. Let's go and see how he does. Uh, okay, I thought that was the Kano, or just another carnivore. Alright, just make sure he's out. He doesn't have a lot of stamina, because he walks pretty slow. <laughs> yep. It's a bit, ah, oh, nearly stayed on him. 
Alright. So now we can see how he does on, I guess, uh, these plants here. That's a food, just saying. Um, now, alright. Here, okay. It's going to test in the. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of stamina. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay. Alright. Um. Yeah. Basically, the, a, another version of a trike. Uh, but I guess slower, maybe? Would you say slower? Uh, probably. Oh, geez, that guy looks pretty cool. Um, well, yeah. Alright, so I guess we can go and now look for a Dodocarus. Um, is it Dodocarus? Yeah, I think so. Um, so they will be a bit more challenging to find than the Stego. I like how he whips his tail up back and forth, he's just like, like, doesn't care. <laughs> Alright, just drive him. It's like he's a car now, because <laughs> I said drive him. Yeah. Alright, uh, probably going to need more berries actually. Uh, but, yeah, so see you when I find one. Alright guys, so, I looked around for Dodocarus, and had no luck, so, next episode, or the episode after, we'll go and look for one, again, or I'll just find one off camera and demonstrate it. Oh no 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 no! Holy moly! Everyone get back! Everyone get back! Okay, y'all a bit clustered. Jeez! And that's why you don't do that. That that teaches that scorpion a lesson. All right, you can just have that, and I've got to split that so you, I can give that to. Uh, jeez, it's full of stuff. Come on, jump! Yes, no. Come on. All right, perfect. First shot. Too easy. All right, I need to give you food. You are running out so quickly. Just look at it go. It needs even more food. Who else is a meat eater? Apparently they could eat. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, I'll just check in. Uh, or is it her? I never knew. I feel a little... The male. Yeah. No, female, female. Do it. Just tricking you guys. I know my dinos. Uh, well, I'm just gonna end the episode for here. Just, I didn't mean to do that. Push down it. Well, yep. So I'm just gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Who the heck did I call? So, and see you guys in episode 7 where I will have a dirty curse because I'll be looking off camera and yeah expect more videos because I am on holidays so yeah bye